Hi everyone, welcome to Naresha Technologies. This is Srinivas. In this video, I am going to explain the given input number is a perfect number or not. First of all, what is perfect number? Just some of the factors, some of the factors of a given number is equal to the same number except itself because for every number itself is one factor except itself right remaining factors sum is equals to the same number is called what perfect number first i'll give one example suppose here it is i'm taking one number is a 6 now we need to find out the factors one is a factor or not two is a factor or not three is a factor or not four is a factor or not five is a factor or not and six is a factor or not is any way for n, n is one factor, but no need to check with itself. So, remaining only we need to count. For example, here 1 plus 2 plus 3 because 1 is factor, 2 is factor, 3 is factor. If you add, see look at this, the result is a 6 again. If n value and the result both are same, we can say that n is a perfect number. No need to check with itself. And here, here it is up to here only we are checking up to n by 2 only because that remaining anyway is not divisible with n. From n by 2 that remaining highest values are not dividing with that n that is the reason we are right we are checking up to n by 2. In the last two videos I have explained clearly right in a prime number case and how to count the factors of a given number the same approach we follow here so that easily we can get. Here it is the program starts with the main. We are just taking one variable to read that n. Directly I am writing here not printf and scanf. Just we are reading n. n value is a 6. Consider n value 6. It may vary. And here it is just to repeat one loop i we are taking and just to find that sum of factors we are declaring one variable with the value 0. Some value is a 0 it starts with 0 because we are counting see initially some value is at 0 now we are repeating that loop for i value starts with 1 starts with 1 and i is less than or equal to n by 2 and i plus plus up to here we are repeating and anyway no need to check with itself no need to check with itself so that itself value we are not adding to some initially leave it so, every time we are checking that factor is, is present or not, for n, i is a factor or not. For n, i is a factor or not. Yes, i is divisible with a n. 1 is divisible with a 6. Whenever it is divisible, that you add to the sum. So, that i value we are adding to sum is nothing but inside just sum equal to sum plus i. Sum value 0. 0 plus 1, 1, 1 you are storing into sum. So, sum value we updated. And next one, here it is i value will increase automatically. i value become 2. Yes, 2 is a factor that we are adding to sum. So, here 1 plus 2 value is a 3. And next i value 3. Yes, 3 is divisible by 6. So, here 3 plus 3 is a 6. And next whenever i value 4. So, 4 is less than or equal to 3. n by 2 value is a 3 condition false it will terminate. So, finally, we are checking if the number what they have given is equal to that number, I mean sum what we found, if both are equal, then we can say that it is a perfect number, it is a perfect number, else not perfect. This is the code, the simple code right the test the input number is a perfect number or not that is sir how to find out right how many perfect numbers within the given range such type of right a little bit complex logics we are going to discuss in a coming videos for more videos please subscribe to Narayan channel thank you